Hello, today's project is a tutorial, a how to remodel and restyle a child's toy, in this case a Doctor Who Cyberman helmet, and create a steampunk version of it. We recently built a large, well, nine feet tall, um, police box which you could walk through to go into the interior where we had a TARDIS style console and we were invited to exhibit this at MCM so we needed more steampunk props to go with it and we figured we'd do it as a simple tutorial so that you can do things like this at home. Now I'm not going to do a major remodel on the helmet it's basically going to be a repaint and some stick on greeblies and some bits just to change the shape a little bit and make it distinctly steampunk rather than um, just the Cyberman toy as it stands. The first thing you've got to do is prep. These toys are injection molded and so the surface is usually covered in a release agent for coming out of the mold. You've got to wash that off. Warm water with a little bit of dish soap is all that's needed. You don't need any fancy degreasers or anything like that. But give it a wash and then let it dry. Make sure it's properly dry. Then to get the paint to key and also any glue that you're using to stick, it's wise to give it a bit of a rough rub down using some abrasive blocks. Now I'm gonna lose this clear area so it doesn't matter that I'm scratching the plastic up, but just give it all a good rub down all over. Not so that you're removing the paint finish, but just to give a roughening to the surface so that paint and glue can key to it. And then we're gonna undercoat it ready to go. Now, before I hit this with the seal and undercoat, I want to add some pieces to it. I'm gonna use some greeblies, some laser cut pieces to add some shape and some form and some detail. A lot of greeblies are a wood, metal, plastic, and they're not flexible, they won't bend. So where you've got a curve and you want something to shape around the helmet, you need a different material. If you're going for flats, then high density EVA foam is brilliant. It will shape itself to curves, even compound curves if you apply a little bit of heat. And here I wanna go for a, an asymmetric look, so just on one side. So I've cut this out of EVA foam, dead easy to work, and it just sticks on the same as any other Greebly. What are we going to use as glue? You can use hot glue, contact adhesive, there are lots and lots of different glues but because this is a, a plastic toy and I'm using mixed media I'm just going to go for good old-fashioned Yoohoo or Bostic or something like that. A simple um, ready-to-use tube glue. So there we have the greeblies in place. Just letting the glue dry before we mask and seal. 